I'm Sutton Schlumpum and I'm doing my presentation on my grandma, Judy. Helena and Richard Sproke welcomed Judith Ann Sproke to the world on November 15, 1944. Judith, also called Judy, was born with rich brown hair and dark eyes. She was welcomed by her older brother, Denny, in Rock Rapids, Iowa. After her arrival, Judy later welcomed her four other siblings, Sandy, Richard Jr., Kathy, and Curtis. Judy and her siblings grew up on a small farm outside of Rock Rapids. She enjoyed the farm life. At her house, she and her siblings had to cook, do the laundry, and clean. Along with household chores, they took care of their three dogs, a pony, and a raccoon. Judy enjoyed being outside with animals, so when the Iowa State Fair rolled around, she always loved going. Although she and her siblings didn't always get along, Judy loved spending time with them. If they weren't outside playing, you could catch them inside playing her favorite board game, Monopoly. When Judy was five, she started school. She attended country school until she was in fourth grade, then attended Central Line until she graduated in 1962. Judy's favorite school subjects were home ec, English, and typing. The highest words per minute she typed was 140. In her spare time, she picked up extra jobs for spending money. Her first real job was a waitress in Rock Rapids. Right after high school, she was hired at a law firm in Rock Rapids. She worked as a secretary. Her first real job turned into a job that she didn't want to leave, so she didn't. She worked at Austin Habercorn and Kipley Law Firm for 49 years. On October 2, 1964, Lynch Lumpum and Judy Sproke were married. They rented their first apartment together in Rock Rapids and later bought their first home. She would say that what she has learned about marriage is to be fair and talk over problems. Nearly two years later, they had their first son, Lee, and later they found out that they would welcome another son, Lance. Judy was a devoted mother to both Lee and Lance. She helped with nearly everything and gave them the best life that was possible. During this time, she was a member of the Emanuel Lutheran Church, a member of the Rock Rapids, Rock Rapids Businesswomen, and Red Hat Society. She also liked spending time with her friends, the Boji Bunch. Both of Judy's kids grew up, got married, and had children. Judy's grandchildren are Lindsay, Devin, Tyler, Cole, Sutton, and Afton. She also has two great-grandchildren, Jalen and Ivy. No matter what, you could catch Judy and Lynn at all of their grandchildren's events. She attended every race, dance recital, soccer game, softball game, basketball game, and football game that she was able to attend. When they came to her house, she, she entertained them by playing piano to them, often playing her favorite song, Whispering Hope. During the summer, she would take her six grandchildren to Okoboji for a fun-packed weekend. But when the time rolled around for Christmas, she was the first to remind her family about the reason for the season. In July of 2010, Judy was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She had chemotherapy for six months. This had a long effect on every family member. Judy later died on May 17, 2011, taking the most loving family member out of the Schlumbum family. Living life. Life is not a race, but indeed a journey. Be honest, be, work hard, be choosy. Say thank you, I love you, and great job to someone each day. Go to church, take time for prayer. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh. Let your handshake mean more than pen and paper. Love your life and what you've been given. It is not accidental. Search for purpose and do it as best as you can. Dreaming does matter. It allows you to become that which you aspire to be. Laugh often, appreciate the little things in life, and enjoy them. Some of the best things really are free. Do not worry, less wrinkles are more becoming. Forgive, it frees the soul. Take time for yourself, plan for longevity. Recognize the special people you've been blessed to know. Live for today, enjoy the moment.